Hello everyone, Mr. Merkich here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a real-time editor for the Skype tool. Uh, now what this is, is we, as we type into a text field within the tool, something within Skype will change, whether that's your name, your mood, uh, and things like that. Um, so things we covered before, how to change it within Skype, we're just going to be doing it in real time. So we don't have to press a button to set it or you, know, you get what I mean. Um, so we're going to be doing that using a timer. You may also notice I've got Windows 10, which I'm still trying to get used to, and I've got a bit of a funny voice, but don't worry about that. I'm a bit sick, um, so yeah, let's just get into it. I'm going to add a new tab, and I'm going to call this RTM, short for real time. Oh no, sorry, not RTM. Real RTE, real time editor. Used to cut tool. Uh, so let me just, I changed the wrong field RTE uh, so inside here what we're going to need is um, a text box which obviously we're going to type into uh, so let me grab that now uh, we're going to need a button for uh, starting editing and another button to stop the editing um, and I think that's all we'll need actually so we just grab this uh, let me just make this neater. I'll get a label out quickly. Um, just so I can put here uh, mood so we know what we're changing. Don't get confused. So put that there. One button there. Another button there. Uh, I'll just quickly change these to start and stop. And we're also going to need a timer. Uh, so basically what we're doing, each tick of the timer, we're going to be changing the status. So we don't have to click a button. Like each With each tick of the timer, uh, it's going to be sending it to your Skype tool uh, program. Um, it's fairly simple actually. So inside the timer free, if you double click it, we're going to be typing uh, skype dot current user profile dot mood text um, so we've done this before you should know what this is we're basically getting the mood or we're going to be setting the mood to this uh, value and it's going to be equal to text box uh, let me just check the number that we got here text box 27 textbook 27.txt so each tick of the timer we're setting it um, to whatever we have in this text box here now uh, in the start button we're going to want to start the timer so timer we're using free um, timer free dot uh, start and that and in the stop button timer free dot stop um, but also we're going to want uh, once we press start we're going to want to disable the start button so we can't press it again it's just so uh, people don't like spam the button and get things messed up so the way you do that we'll just get the number of this button so it's button 34 uh, and we're going to button 34 dot enabled is equal to false uh, no semicolons and uh, we want to actually when we stop when we press stop we want button uh, 34 to be enabled again so we can click it so we'll equal that to true and we could actually disable the stop button as well. Um, button, guessing it's 35. Dot enabled is equal to false. The reason I'm not having it here is because we'd have to enable it on the startup, which I'll do in a second. I just want to show you that this works first. Um, 
and also when we stop um, it's not a big deal but we could set these this text box back to a blank string uh, the way you will do that is we know it's text box 27 so text box 27 dot text is equal to two speech marks nothing um, just so you don't get confused so if we open this tool up now let us load up uh, you're going to need to connect it to Skype uh, yeah have to let that do what it's got to do if I click on home open the tool up uh, we're successfully connected now if I go to the RTE tab um, press start um, as you can see it changed to online because I got nothing here you can now see that the buttons enabled so we can't keep spamming start now um, but if we was to type in here if I was to type hey or oh, well that messed up hey as you can see as I'm typing it it's going into my mood up there now um, if I was to do leave it as that and press stop or well, actually if I was to put I press stop it saved as I, stops now disabled and we can press start again and it has also reset the string um, because if we left the string there and press start again it would set our mood to what it, we had before which you probably don't want um, so yeah that's pretty much the real time editor before I go uh, you just want to make sure in form when the forms loaded uh, we want to disable this button um, just so it's disabled button 35 button 35 dot enabled is equal to false and that should be it so when you start that that will be uh, disabled this will be enabled and when you press this one they'll switch uh, and this will reset and you can just type away and it will update in real time to your Skype um, so yeah that's really it if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like and a comment and we're also so close to 1k so if you're not already subscribed please subscribe and i'll see you next time